Good morning. Welcome back to the Retirement Report. I'm Hank Parrott, your host. We've been getting right into the science of investing. I hope you've gained a lot from the portfolio design stuff I, I put out there. And take advantage of the offer. Come see me if you'd like to get an, inve an individual investment analysis so you can see where you stand and where you're what's in your portfolio. Wouldn't you like to know now? I mean, if something you, you may think, you know, I'm in pretty good shape here. But are you really? I mean, if something you believe to be true was not true, when would you want to know it? Okay, take advantage, get that second opinion. Let me take a look in, analysis, in, in that analysis for you and, and find out if in fact that's the case, all right? If it is, then great. But if, if there's some hidden risk in there that you're not aware of, wouldn't it be good to know it now rather than wait until something happens in the market that causes you to lose uh, your portfolio to drop dramatically, maybe creating a situation where it may take years for you to recover? And if you're close to retirement or in retirement, that's the worst time for that to happen, okay? That could really change everything with regard to your retirement goals and plans. All right, now I'm gonna share something else with you. We talked about negative correlation, here's another one. Wharton School of Business did a study. One of the things that they determined, they looked at fixed index annuities. They said, well, let's look, what is the best asset mix? Because it's always traditionally been stocks and bonds. So is that in fact the best mix that gives you the best opportunity, the best statistical uh, uh, success rate, let's say, of not running out of money during retirement? All right, well, let's take a look. In fact, what they found was that if you blended together fixed index annuities with stocks, that actually gave a better result than the bond, stock bond portfolio did. Isn't that interesting? And then they did another study a few years back, Wharton School did, and they, it was published in the uh, financial, journal, uh, financial Planning Journal. And one of the things they talked about was real world returns of fixed index annuities compared to the S&P 500 index. And it showed that over that 20 year period, that the fixed index annuities actually outperformed the uh, S&P 500 index 67% of the time. And then they thought, well, nobody, you know, most people don't invest 100% of their money in stocks, so they took a look at, well, what would happen if we blend, say, treasuries and S&P 500 index? So in other words, a fixed component with that, what was the result? Then we found that we had 79% of the times the index annuities outperformed. These studies I've got available in my office. You come in, I'm happy to provide them for you if you call us. All right, let me show you real quickly how one of these might work. This one is through Nationwide. It's called the uh, J.P. Morgan Mosaic. So the benefit of a broadly diversified approach. And it starts with, we'll go ahead and get the slide up. This one is showing basically using com uh, commodity asset classes, uh, basically from United States, Europe, and Asia. And it shows how those are put together. You know, I'm gonna run out of time before I'm able to get all this in, so let me do this. You may have to come in and take a, take a look with me or I'll try to get it for you on a future show. One of the things that I need to, I hope you got out of this is the importance of the science of, in, of investing, how asset allocation is the most important tool in your arsenal in terms of getting the desired result with the least amount of risk. And it's so important to understand, not just as a buzzword, but how that needs to be applied properly to get your result. Because if it's improper, you're gonna get a negative result. Properly done, a positive result. So I hope this has been beneficial to you. I hope you got a lot of great information today. And I hope you join me here each and every week on The Retirement Report.